I want to go over some simple exercises so you can improve your eye-hand coordination. This is really important if you want to learn how to draw what you see and learn to draw accurate proportions. So if you have this dot, try to draw a dot next to this one with a random distance in between. And now you're going to try to draw the next dot with the same distance and then you're going to repeat this. So you're going to try to see this distance and this distance and try to have it the same with all of the dots that you put down. So you're training your eye to look at this distance and then imagine where would that be around here. So now you can check if you have that correct by just simply using your pencil and then check the dots like this, like this, and then see if you're right. So that looks right. If you don't have this correct, then you know, okay, I need some more practice. Let's do this again. So the dots can be closer together. So now you're just focusing on this distance between each dot. Focus on the distance and then put it next to it. And you can also draw the dots a bit further so it will make it a bit more difficult. It can be a bit more challenging, but this is a great exercise. So check if you have it correct and if you have it correct, good, you can move on. And if you're still finding this challenging, well, you know what to do, practice. So the more you practice, you will get this right. So let's practice with these dots and then vertically. So just draw a dot and then like this and then try to see the distance in between and draw it like that. Now another one, but then a bit further. And now let's try this like at an angle. So if we have a dot here, I'm going to draw one here. And then I'm going to try to look at this angle. And also look at the distance, but also the angle. So I'm not going to draw the dot like here under it or more to the left, but try to follow the angle with the same distance. So this can also be a bit challenging, but you know that everything that is a bit challenging, you know, just know that all you need to do is practice. The more practice, the better you will get. So this angle and following the, dis the, the distance or checking the distance, looking at the distance. So I think this needs to be a bit further. And then if you see this and you think, I'm not sure if I'm right, just check with your pencil and see if you're about right. Now we can also go at an, another angle, just one more time. So you can practice this as much as you need to. Check this distance, check this angle, so like you're following a line, you're imagining a line. Follow it like this. So this simple exercise with dots will help you learn seeing distance and it will introduce you to working with proportions. Now we're going to try drawing a square from dots. So again, we're going to draw a dot and then the next dot on the right, just a random distance. Next, we're going to draw a dot here, but then focus on this distance. Try to keep the same distance and draw the dot as far as this, like this. And then for this dot, the same. So the same distance as you see here and the same distance as you see here. And now we're going to connect the dots. And by connecting the dots, if you have a square, you know that you drew the dots correctly. If you have more like a rectangle, then you know, I will need to practice this some more. So you can uh, draw it smaller.
check, connect the dots. If you have a square, now let's draw it a bit uh, bigger. So imagine a line. Try to think of the distance where it would be and then connect. So if I would draw the dot, for example, here and here, and then I connect the dots, then I see, okay, I have a rectangle. So this distance was a bit too far. So then you can correct and put the dots a bit closer. Check. That's how you can correct yourself. As long as you see the, the distance, imagine the distance and practice with it. So you can do this as many times as you need to. If the first one didn't uh, work out, uh, try it again. Try it until you get it right. And the smaller squares would be a bit easier than the larger squares with a bit more distance, a bit more challenging. Good thing to practice. So next we're going to copy the length of lines. When you want to draw accurate proportions, it's important to know how to look, compare, and draw this. So with this simple exercise, you will focus on comparing and judging the distances. So we're going to start by drawing a horizontal line. And you should be able to know how to draw simple sketch lines by now. If I draw a line like this, like really um, slow, so I draw a bit wobbly, lines like this. Uh, I think it's easier to draw the sketch lines like this, but whatever is um, easier for you to do, whatever you like to do, you can draw a line like this. Well, you can see uh, uh, my hands, my hand starts to shake a bit. If I do that, I will need to go over it. So I like to, yeah, you, you will need to find the, the right angle that's easy for you to draw a line. So the exercise is not to try to draw a straight line, but what we're going to do is um, try to draw, so I already drew a few lines, but you're going to try to draw the same, exact same line with this, um, the length of this line, but also with the same distance. So I see that my line here has a bit more distance than this one, and then this one even more. So. Let me practice that again. So I'm going to start with this line. I'm going to copy the length of the line, but also the distance. So this can be challenging at first. So I'm checking this distance and then drawing the same line under it with the same length and the same distance. So again, so you see that you're practicing distance just by drawing simple lines, you're training your eye and your hand to work together to draw that line. Uh, if you're finding this too challenging at first, you can also practice it with short lines. So shorter line, draw it below it with the same distance or horizontal, uh, vertical, this was horizontal, vertical. Check the length of the line. So you start here, stop there, start here, stop there, but also check the distance. So it's easier to draw shorter lines, so maybe you can practice that. So I already see that if I draw a straight line, mine's are, mine are a bit shorter. So I'm correcting that, and here it was good. Here a bit longer, so you can correct that's why it's important to draw the light sketch lines. So you see this exercise is not only about seeing the distance, but it's also about copying the exact length of the lines. So with this, you train your hand, eye and mind all together. This is a really great exercise. Looks simple. I'm not sure if you think this is boring, but remember this is if you're having well, if it's um, easy for you to do, well done. Move on to the next exercise. But if you see that it's a bit challenging, more practice, practice as much as you can. So now we can uh, draw the lines at an angle. This is even more challenging. So the same length, angle and distance. 
Try to keep your lines light. So if you drew this at a, the distance is too far, just correct. Draw it um, well. Train your eye to see. So looking at the length of the lines and the distance. So I think it looks good like this. And again, if it's challenging for you, you know you need some more practice. So take out your sketchbook or your sketching paper and practice this. Now another angle. So some angles I find challenging to draw the lines. So this angle is the most difficult for me. I need to go a bit over it. So I'm checking the length of the line and then the distance. So try not to be disappointed if the lines look a bit wobbly at first. You're just going to take your time and keep on trying. I'm pretty sure that if you're doing this for the first time or you're still having hard times with lines and, and you're trying it now and you think, oh, I need a lot more practice, um, put a date on your exercise and try this again tomorrow and the next day and the day after and see your own improvement i'm pretty sure you will improve yourself so i see that my line's starting to go a bit further so i'm going to draw it a bit closer this one also a bit closer so it's okay if you don't draw it uh, accurate the first time it's important that you learn to to see the distance so that you can correct it and that's the same with, with your sketch. If you want to move on to the shading, your sketch will need to look good first. So you'll need to train your eye to look for things that aren't right in your drawing. And the more you practice this with these simple lines, you will notice that you will be able to draw your lines straighter and with more control. Now to improve the connection between your hands and eyes, we're going to try drawing a line of random length like this. And then next to it, try drawing the same line. And with the same distance, we're going to continue. So look at the distance between the lines and the same, try to draw the same line. So um, almost the same as the dots, but now we're, we, uh, this is challenging because you need to look at the distance as well as the length of the lines, just with this uh, exercise. And the longer the lines and distances between the lines, the more challenging it is. So this and this. So this is a great exercise as well. Maybe even longer. Look at this distance, this distance and the length of the line. So you can check and uh, if you don't see it, check and then you know. So the lines are looking good and then the distance also looks good. So you can practice this as much as you need to. Next we can draw like these C shapes and do the same. So the, the shape or the C shape needs to be the same length and also the distance in between the shapes. So if it's not curved enough, go over it, check to see if you're drawing it correctly. Now curved, but then a bit longer, but then the same distance. So a smaller distance, but the longer longer C shape. So we'll check the distance. Now let's draw a curved line like a C shape and then one below it. Now the same distance and then here the same distance. This can also be a bit challenging at first. Oh, 
It's getting a bit smaller. Here the, uh, so you can, you learn to see. You, if you make any mistakes, here I see the distance becomes uh, more and more closer to each other. See that? Here I have more distance. So this is in my exercise, so then I would need to draw them a bit higher, these ones. And then these ones a bit lower. So that's how you will correct. If you look at yours, try to see and look um, if something is wrong. Then what is wrong? So try to look at the top C shapes and then the lower one. See if they're on the same line. Try to correct if you need to. Next, uh, I want to draw like a, like a V shape upside down. And now a V shape like this. And again, we're going to look at distance, but also try to draw the V shape the same size. So again, it can be challenging, but just go one shape at a time. Light pressure so that you can correct if you need to. Okay, so I'm noticing again here that these ones, if you look at the distance and then the distance between this one, so I see this one is a bit further, needs to be a bit further. Um, see the distance from this, the V shape. And then this one is also, if you look at this distance, and then here it starts to get a bit too close with these two. So I would need to correct these two, erase. Well, we're not going to use an eraser here. Just learn from your mistakes. So look at the distance here. I see that mine is a bit too close, this one. So this will need to be a bit further. So here it started to get a bit too close. Then you can look at the, like a line, imagine a line, see if the height is still on the same line. So that is looking good, but just the distance here got a bit too close. So that's when you need to learn to see what's wrong, fix your mistake, and then you're good. So these exercises can also be challenging because you're processing two distances at the same time. So how far are the lines apart or the shapes? Here are the lines and here are the shapes. How far are they apart and how uh, big is the shape or how long is the line? So try not to become discouraged if it doesn't work out. But try to let this motivate you to keep on trying. How well you draw each line or each shape will help you find what you need to improve. So if you find your mistakes, then you know you need to fix them and it will, you will know what you need to improve. So which line did you find challenging or which angle did you find challenging, challenging to draw? Or did you find it challenging to learn to see the distance in between the dots? Or this, did this go easy? Was this exercise easy for you, but you had more challenge drawing the lines um, because you need to look at the length of the lines and then this uh, di distance. So you're processing two distances at the same time. Was this challenging? Then you know you can need to practice that a bit more.